I'm going to give everyone till seven and then we'll get started. Hi, Michelle. Welcome from Lapel. All right. So my phone says seven o'clock. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I do Elaine. Um, lose my mind. So I'm Ashley Pash. I'm the director of product program. Elaine Gill and Tashiana Avery are also both on the call. Um, those are our two product program managers. Oh, I'm getting ready to promote you to the panelists. Um, if you have questions, so tonight is all about just a live Q&A with the product program team. I'll be doing the bulk of the you know, question and answer with you. Um, however, you can either raise your hand and ask your question out loud, put it in the chat, or put it in the Q&A, and we will make sure to um, get you answered. Um, so that's tonight is just that. If you have questions, we can start taking those. Um, and then if you um, get your question answered and you want to hop off, then you're more than welcome. And we'll be doing this again on Thursday at noon. Um, so if you have new questions that come up between now and Thursday, feel free to hop back on. Um, so does anybody want to start us off? All right, Jesse, I just clicked allow to talk. Hi, thanks. Um, I'm, it's my first year, so I know that we're doing pre-orders only right now, but they are able to order via digital cookie as long yes. as the girl delivered. Um, I do get notices that I need to approve the order, and I want to make sure that that's okay since it's uh, charging their card now, but it's okay to go ahead and do that, correct? Yep. So you only have five days from the time the order comes in to approve it. And then that is okay. They'll just be prepaid. And then the thing that I love about that, we used to not, that's a newer feature of the last few years. And my daughter's been in scouting for um, eight years now. And so now the nice thing is like, you can porch drop to people um, and not have to mess with collecting their money at that time. So you're absolutely fine to um, take those order, to go ahead and approve those and charge that customer and just make sure you get them um, charged. Good. And then um, I know that we can input offline orders into digital cookie, but would those populate into eBuddy or do I need to collect the girls' order cards and input them into eBuddy? You will want to collect anything from their order cards and put them into eBuddy. Um, what most troops or what, or at least what I should say, most troops that I've worked with do, um, they just have the parent text that number and then like draw a line across the order card for like where, what, you know, the total they had already submitted. Um, that way they can leave their order card up at work or um, anything like that. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, I have an, another question that came in from Michelle that says, additional question, since we have five days to approve an order, should we be checking that daily? How, frequent, how frequently should we be checking? Um, you should get an email, Michelle, letting you know you have an order to approve. However, um, I do as a parent for my daughter, typically I log in every few days and just kind of make sure um, that I don't have anything sitting there. The nice thing is um, at this point, like with your, unless you share that to like a larger population on your Facebook, um, oftentimes you'll know that some, you know, you'll be talking to friends and family and they'll mention they ordered, um, but you do get an email um, to let you know. Melissa, so while we're on digital cookie, Melissa asked, does each parent have to do this approval or is this cookie manager only? So each parent has to do the approval. So um, I'm not the true cookie manager for my daughter's troop, obviously, because I work in the cookie department, that'd be conflict of interest. Um, so I get the emails for my daughter and then her dad is actually a true cookie manager. He and I are not like, right, we live in separate homes. Um, so he gets, he handles the troop side and then I handle our daughter's side. Um, so you, each parent 
So, um, but when you log into your troop side, you will see if a parent has something hanging around out there. You can see if there are girl orders that need to be approved um, and what girls they're for, so that if a parent somehow missed an email, you could always let them know about that. Um, Michael asked about instructions to set up the troop's digital cookie. So those are actually on our Cookie Central page under volunteer digital cookie resources. Let me also link, there's a tip sheet and a training video. So um, I'm gonna link those into the chat box. There it is. I was like, where did the chat box go? Um, so the first one is the tip sheet. The second one is the video um, and those are provided by GSUSA. And there are tons of digital cookie tip sheets and videos out. If you go to our council website, girlscoutsindiana.org, um, and then navigate to Cookie Central, there's a drop down for digital cookie tip sheets and videos for volunteers and one for caregivers. Jesse asked, will the hotspot list be posted on Cookie Central soon? Yes, it should be up there. Um, if it's not up there right now, I know our comms, so our comms team has to put everything up. Um, and so I know she was working on that, on getting that up for us. I see that Lauren has her hand up. So let me allow you to talk, Lauren. Hi, thanks. Um, this is a little bit more of a, a service unit manager question if that's okay. Um, is there, a, a, am I right in thinking there's no way that I, as a service unit cookie manager, can resend some of those digital cookie emails to parents? Is it only Correct. customer? I did okay. see your, I was, I was cleaning up the, all the questions on Facebook. I actually yeah. just hit resend to anyone who's not registered. Okay. Um, we did let GSUSA know that their reset emails aren't going out. Um, okay. But if you um, are still having a problem, have mm -hmm. them contact customer care or send or send me an email with the troops that need reset and I can go in okay. and give yeah. them like Yeah, yeah, I, I would like to do that. I, I would like to email because I yeah. we've known about this issue since Sunday <laughs> and we emailed it about it on Sunday and we still, oh. I know they're really swamped. Yeah, yeah, like I tried to call into customer care and had disconnected okay. voicemail. So I know you guys are overwhelmed and that's why I wanted to know if I could do it. Yeah, or if I can like, streamline it into an email. I did just get a text that someone, well, one of my other moms that wasn't having an issue was able to finally get on. That's different. Okay. Um, so if that might have worked, but yes, that's actually what yeah. I wanted to do is, is if me. I can get those people an email you just to streamline it and not further overload customer service. Yes, I know <laughs> I they had 900. I know they had okay. 900 okay. cookie cases this morning. Uh, 400 oh, yeah. being digital cookie email and we let GSUSA know and GSUSA was like we know we're working on it but um so okay. I hit resend tonight um it was like when I read your message I was like oh yeah yep I could just hit resend let me do that oh, wonderful thank you I'll, but yeah, I'll and then use... I'll put my email in the chat box for anybody okay. who is having Thanks. that issue and might need it all right, thank you. I'll I'll compile anyone who after tonight was still not able to get set up. So that way I'll give them a chance to use that resend. Thank you so much for helping me with that. Yeah, no problem. Hmm? Um, I see Montana has a question, so I'm gonna allow hit allow to talk. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So I know if they pre-order through digital cookie, they can pay with their credit card, but if they do like an in-person sale or like when we get to the cookie booth. Point, is there a way for them to pay with their credit card then and how do we do that? Yes. So in the trying to th I was trying to think if I had the ability to show the digital cookie app. Um, in the digital cookie app. Well, let's see. Elaine, can you stop sharing real quick? I don't know if I can get my screen big enough. You gotta figure like out say how someone to get, orders in person and you go to deliver and they don't have cash. I think that's kind of the scenario yeah. I'm thinking of. So you'll okay. log into Digital Cookie. Uh-huh. Um, and once your troop 
link has been set up by the parent, by you or whom, whatever parent you've assigned to do that. Um, and my true cookie manager hasn't done that, unfortunately. You'll actually like, um, I'm gonna try and get my, when you log in, you'll actually get an option of like seeing your girl or the troop, and then you can run it under either one. Um, so depending on how your troop wants to handle it, my daughter's troop, if I'm taking it, like grandma doesn't have cash and I'm just selling her a personal cookie, I run it under my daughter. If I'm at a booth, they prefer I run it under the troop and then they divvy that up at the end. Um, we did get the final instruction from Little Brownie on the new way to track credit card payments in eBuddy from Digital Cookie. And so those instructions are also on comms queue along with that hotspot list. Um, Elaine, you can go back to sharing your screen. Um, and so you'll have, so if they're being run into the troop, it's a lot easier. It's very simple this year to add those to the booth and credit to the girl for payment. Um, last year it was a little bit more convoluted. Um, but so what'll happen is you'll log into your digital cookie app and you'll just pick. And then once you're in, you'll just click new cookie order, which I know is really hard to see on my screen, but there's a big blue button in the center that says new cookie order. Um, and then you can just pick the cookies, hit checkout, and you can even get donations through there. So we could do the new order if it's like cookies in hand and pay that way? Yep. Okay. Because we and then that, pass, if, like, you, the if you run it under your, your, yep, if you run it under your daughter, it automatically credits the girl orders tab in eBuddy. And then if you run it under the troop, it'll credit the troop um, pseudo girl in eBuddy. And then there's directions that they've provided us on how to uh, divvy that out to um, to your booths. Okay. Um, I have another question here about credit cards at a booth. When they pay with a credit card at a booth, can we just hand the box over at that time? Yes, you can. Um, it'll tell you whether or not it ran or if it declined. So that's a good thing. Go ahead and run it through the process. And then it'll tell you if it was approved or declined. I've only had like a couple people, unfortunately, like decline over the years at booths. Um, but yeah, it'll it'll let you know it's approved and then you can just hand them the cookies right then and there. And we do have um, in a couple of weeks after initial order goes in that next Tuesday, the 24th, I'll do an entire like breakdown of how digital flows into eBuddy and how to handle credit cards and all those things. Um, Cause then we'll have some examples to work from by then that are live in the system. Um, I have a question. How do I as a true cookie manager get access to eBuddy? Leah, if you can shoot me an email, I will troubleshoot that. I know customer care, like we said, had 900 um, cookie cases to work through. And I know they were working through those um, and even working into this evening on those. However, if you reach, if you email me, I can, um, I can look up your training percentage and get you put into eBuddy. Just email me your five digit group number and I'll get that taken care of for you. Um, how do you add a girl to eBuddy and digital cookie? They are doing daily uploads of newly registered girls. So if you have a girl that is freshly registered and she's not show or has been registered past yesterday and she's not showing, um, unfortunately you'll have to email customer care because they handle all of that data. But if you email or call them, um, emailing them will put you into their case queue. Um, I know we have a couple people on my team that are helping cover that. Like we've, you know, let, they, they're gonna start pushing some of that out to us. Um, to help get that, some of that covered. Um, so you'll, if you email customer care or give them a call, they can check on the girls in your troop. Um, I suddenly, my view changed. There we go, participants. Um, Michael, I'm gonna allow you to talk. You should be able to talk now. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, so I'm trying to log into the digital cookie to um, set up the troops um, virtual booth. And uh, it, I, I'm not even sure. I, there's a, a 
under help with login, it says there's a digital cookie registration email that I should have gotten that I don't think I received. Okay, um, I just resent those again. If you're double check your promos, especially. Um, if Ashley, if I could, if I could, that's the one that it's for Drop Manager. Equal one ML. I haven't come across any others. Are being. Oh, sorry. It's okay. What? If I could add, Ashley, um, on the service unit's view <clears throat> of Digital Cookie for Michael's troop, there uh -huh. is not an email address registered to the troop oh, site. Oh, okay. I don't think they've got him loaded yet. So if we could, will you get that. also yep, send me? Send me, um, put that in that list, Lauren, and okay. I'll, get, I'll check on, Michael, I'll check on your uh, training and get you put in. I can look at all that when we're done here. Tonight. Yeah, he, he said he okay. finished his training Sunday, so it might just be Might just delayed. be a little bit delayed because, yeah, they walked yeah. into <laughs> a lot of questions yesterday, but I can get it taken care of for you. So just well, make sure I just, I just looked, looked at my promotions folder and there's, there is an email here for a register for digital cookie, but it's, it's addressed to the troop leader, not to me. So that, that, would be, difference. that would be it. That's that would be it. Okay. So maybe she got you into eBuddy today. What's your troop number? Yeah, I'm I'm able to access eBuddy. Okay, good. So yeah, you just finally synced over. Okay, so yeah, if you follow that, you should be able to get set up now. I don't know right, why they you. call it troop leader, not troop cookie manager. <laughs> That's a GSUSA thing. Um, I have. A question in the Q&A, after the 20th of January, can girls still take orders by a specific order or does it all switch to that troop estimated order and cookie coverage after that day? So um, they can still take cookie orders. Um, so on one, on January 20th, anything they've already sold in digital cookie and then your troop estimated order for booths or any extras that you want goes in. Girls can continue to sell on digital cookie and they can continue to sell with their order card. Um, and then they'll just turn those orders into you. So one thing I would suggest, especially, I think we have a lot of newer troops on the call is like my cookie dad has a hard day every week that you have to turn orders in by if you want them at our next meeting. Um, so like on Monday night, if I had orders that I took all week that I need from him on Monday, I have to get them to him because on Tuesday, he's going to order from the cupboard going to pick up on Thursday and then they'll be at our weekend meeting. Um, so the one thing I would just suggest is kind of giving some deadlines around that so that you're not getting an order like every night from different people in your troop. Kind of give yourself like one day that you will be available to like write all that down um, and get those things, those orders from them just so you're not like cookie crazy seven days a week. Um, there was a question their way to add a QR code to a flyer to direct to cookie sites. So yes, when you log in to your Girl Scouts digital cookie, um, let me get into my daughters and then I'll share my screen. Elaine, I'm gonna take over and share my screen. Okay. So if you log in, can you guys see just my digital cookie? I can see it, Ashley. Okay. If you log into digital and you're on your daughter's homepage, if you click view our QR code, you can copy this um, and add it to a flyer or um, Little Brownie has some door hanger printables on their website. So, or, or I've seen girls put them on like, like business card size and it, that way they can leave them if their neighbors weren't home. Um, so you can do that. All right, Elaine, I'm gonna let you take that back over. Okay. Um, there was a question. I was able to access eBuddy and I did the cookie manager training in December. I can't remember if there's additional trainings for eBuddy. Um, so Michelle, if you're in eBuddy and you have a question about um, like how to use different pieces, there's two things. One, you can go to the eBuddy help center and they have these little quick bite trainings that Little Brownie has created about their system. Two, um, this week we're Q&A. There's a couple other weeks for Q&A, but like next Tuesday is solely devoted to 
how to do the, the initial order delivery process. So you could also sit on with us and watch that live because I'll actually um, be utilizing my daughter's troop to like walk through all of those steps. Um, so you can either do that or if you can't sit in with us, we'll record it, we'll put it up on Wednesday, um, that kind of thing. Uh, where can you find the recording from this meeting afterward? Well, I'll share it out to everyone who was live, who was on with us, and then we it'll get put on YouTube and put onto our website. Um, and sent out. We'll send it out via the, the YouTube link out via eBuddy Blast as well. Elaine, will you just make a note? To make sure we or Tashi make a note to make sure we go ahead and put this as an eBuddy Blast. Um, I do have Michael. Is your hand still up? Or did you have a question? I just want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. I'm sorry. No, I, I did not need to put my hand down. No, you're up. totally fine. <laughs> Are there other questions that you have going into this week? I see Julie. Let me, there you go, Julie, if you want to ask your question. Yes, Ashley, um, my question concerns orders and digital cookie after the initial order date of January mm -hmm. 20th. Um, do those still flow through to eBody or is that locked down in eBody where nothing from digital cookie will flow through? Yeah, let me um, let me go into Steers eBody and then share my screen and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, so what will happen is right now, girl delivered orders, the money and the cookies are flowing. Um, and then when initial order, once you've put your starting inventory order in and you've hit submit, the cookie part of it stops flowing because that has to come from your troop stock. And so in order for it not to double charge you for cookies, um, they only continue to push money over for girl delivered cookies. Okay. Um, once ship opens, it'll automatically, um, it'll ship will automatically new the cookies and the money. I was gonna find, ignore some of these totals. Some of the girls in my daughter's troop are heavy hitters. Um, but so for instance, this first line here is a digital cookie delivered order. And as you can see, it gave her zero packages, but it gave her negative 20, it paid $25 toward her bill. That just means that you would need to, the troop had to credit her five packages elsewhere. So like her mom, you know, picked them up somewhere along the, along the way yep. um, in one of her orders like this, you know, one of these like extra orders she has. This girl's, there's too many here. Hold on, let me go. Let me pick a different girl because she's got too much. And I was trying to find. Um, here's like a delivery where $25 went in. The troop then, if you go down here, like 212 additional, five of those account for that 25. Um, and then she has like a did you cookie donate. You'll notice that that automatically credits cookies for a cause and gives her the money. So donate always goes in crediting them because um, there's no physical cookies that your troop stock has to provide. And then digital cookie in hand only gives money. So that's taking the credit card through digital cookie when you have cookies in hand and your customer is standing right there with, with a credit card. Yep. So it credits you the money. You've already gotten the cookies from your troop leader. So they're already credited to your daughter. Um, I was looking to see if she had a digital cookie shipped. I know, uh, I think our troop site. Um, oh, and these, sorry, these read different on the troop site now. Let me. And then digital cookie ship comes in like this transaction where it's credited her the cookies and the money um, so that you don't have to do, because you're not handling any of those cookies. Sure. Does that help? Yeah, so if I could just summarize. Um, yes. payment, payments and um, shipped orders are gonna flow through. Mm -hmm. but anything that is the girl saying, hey, I need to get X boxes of cookies, 
for a digital cookie delivery, you're going to have to manually input. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And, and what, um, what the nice thing is, let me go over here, is a parent doesn't necessarily have to keep up with that record for you. Um, so, like, if I'm looking at Adria, I can drop down over here and look at just her girl delivered. Uh -huh. Above this line was what initial order counted. Below it is not. Oh, awesome. So okay. What my troop leader does is actually, like, write down, like, you know, before, maybe these first three were the only ones that were there the first time she came to pick up extra cookies. Uh -huh. She would just write down those, like, last three digits of each one. Yeah. And that receipt number. So she knew where she had ended. And the next time Addie's mom came, she picked up the other four kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and you can actually even go as far. They added this this year. Um, this is all of her girl delivered before, like for initial order. And then this is everything after. Ooh, it's a new feature. Okay. Um, and so you can, I just would suggest always writing down like at least a couple of those last numbers that you don't lose track. So you could just have a parent say, hey, I need to pick up extras. I need this much plus all my girl delivered. Uh -huh. um, and do it that way. No, that's great. Thank you so much. I appreciate that explanation. Yeah, no problem. Um, and then we had a question. Digital Hookie is replying to customers for girl delivered saying that delivery is 220. Um, that is because they want to give girls a few week buffer between when they actually get cookies from the council um, so, Montana, you are correct. Delivery is 130 to 25. Um, however, that just gives girls and caregivers time to catch up with all those girl delivered customers. But I agree, it's confusing. We put a complaint in with USA that that was a bit confusing. Um, doo -doo -doo. Do I have any other questions? happy to answer we I mean I think we slated this I think we schedule it till 8 but it's maybe slated in the system and events until 7 30. Um, it is recording so the recording will send out um, tomorrow via eBuddy we'll put it on um, the website so on the website if you go to the cookie central page it'll be down under live recordings and they'll all they'll each go out um, Hopefully next day, our, there is more than my team in, that has to make the make the website work. So, but we'll be providing them to her the minute we can get the record, you know, onto YouTube, and then it'll go over to comms to get put up on the website. But that's why we'll send it out via eBuddy so that the next day it's available. All right. Well, it looks like we don't have any more questions. I'll hang out for a few minutes, but thank you all for taking a half an hour on a Tuesday night to come on and ask questions. And um, it also helps us know what to clarify as we move forward in newsletters. And so thank you so much. Have a good evening.